But I think with children, what's really interesting is they're forming their personalities, but they're also forming their stress responses. And they learn that a lot from their parents. You know, they learn that, like, you know, the, the common stress responses are uh, fight, flight, freeze. And also, I recently learned fawn. Is that another one? What, which one? Fawn. The last one? Fawn. F A W N. And what does it mean? Uh, this is really interesting. A lot, of, a lot of dancers I know have this stress response to uh, a certain kind of choreographer. Uh, so fawning is a stress response where um, you'll find this a lot in actually cases of sexual assault where um, the person who's been raped uh, will start to try and protect the person who raped them. So they oh, it's a bit like Stock Stockholm syndrome, yeah. something like that, no? Yes. In that lines. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's considered as it's it's considered a stress response now, um, where a person just tries to protect the other person for them. And you actually also see this a lot in children who have who come from environments where they don't feel very secure. So they don't they don't have a sense of safety, they don't have a sense of security. Um, maybe it's like caregivers who are in and out, or their primary caregiver is um, not really there or not really able to give them attention or love. Uh, attention, maybe just attention, not love, just attention. Um, you see this a lot in children actually with long stress response. And um, I'm not a child psychologist by any means. I've, I've worked a lot with children, and that's actually something I want to do one day is to actually study child psychology. Um, but when it comes to self-defense, you know, I don't think we teach, we don't teach, we don't teach a person self-defense according to their stress response. It's really funny because we think in terms of jiu-jitsu, like if you're tall or you've got long legs, you know, you learn the triangle, right? Uh, you got like short legs, like, yeah, let's do deep half, you know, perfect for you. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? If <laughs> you are, uh, you know, you don't you you don't like to like uh, change levels very quickly in your body. Okay, don't do takedowns. Like like learn this other technique. You know, uh, shit like that, right? Like you try to formulate the jujitsu that is good for your body, that is healthy for your body, that's advantageous maybe for your body. But we don't teach self defense techniques that are advantageous to your natural stress response. And this is something that I was also like working with is that I don't naturally have a winner's mindset. I have a protective mindset. Like I have a scarcity mindset. I'm like, I already have so little, let me preserve what little I have. And every opportunity I get to add more, I will do so, you know. But I have like a, I'm a very risk adverse person. Um, That's actually extremely interesting what you're <laughs> starting to open up here. I know, I know, dude, I know. Uh, but so this is really interesting because like, you know, in the sense like when I'm trying to, let's say I'm in a compromising situation, like my, like what I should be doing to protect myself, to defend myself, is actually learn how to negotiate. Is to learn how to verbally negotiate instead of physically like try to beat someone down, right? Because I'm already risk adverse. I want to protect myself. I don't want to injure myself. That's my natural instinct. So what should I do? And some would argue I should start to almost negotiate with my maybe a sultan is like, hey, like, you know, what can I give you in return? How can we do this instead? What's another way? And this is actually more in line with my personality and my stress responses. That makes sense. Because my natural stress response is also to freeze. Um, it's not really to fight. <laughs> and so then I would argue, you know, uh, depending on a person's natural stress response, like we can teach them a better self-defense technique. Like for your daughter who doesn't like um, confrontation, a lot of people don't like confrontation. And there are better ways to express that. You know, there are better ways to get around that, techniques that we, that we don't commonly think of. Like physical, physical skills are not the only way to get out of a tricky situation. Um, I wish I learned a long time ago. <laughs> If you want to see more precious and insightful moments, make sure to check our short clips playlist. To see longer interviews, check out the full episode playlist just below it. And to be notified for all future videos, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell.
See you on the next episode.